guys and happy Friday to all of your sunshiny faces. So guys, I am starting dinner for tonight. Originally, my dad had told me we were going out for dinner tonight, and now we are not, and my dad's on the phone, so that's why he's talking. Um, but I am going to now make dinner because it's just about 12.30, and I think it's supposed to take four to six hours on low. It's kind of the same thing as every as yesterday's dinner. Uh, the ground beef is going to be pre-cooked, but the only thing is that um, it just wait until everything's kind of like mushy together yes. kind of thing. So I think it's supposed to be four to six hours on high. So it should be done like five or so, um, or five to six ish, I guess. Um, cause yesterday's dinner seemed like it would be done a little bit earlier and I'm not using quite as many bell peppers, which is really the only thing that kind of has to be soft that in the mushrooms. So once that's done, um, everything else should be fine because I'm throwing the onion in the, um, and sauteing it with the ground beef. So this is what I'm going to need for tonight. Also an onion too. Um, I've got Dijon mustard, uh, yellow mustard. I don't know. Is it prepared mustard? I'm thinking that's like regular mustard. Um, and then chili powder, bell pepper, salt, pepper, Worcestershire sauce. I need a half a cup of ketchup, so I don't think this will be enough. So I grabbed another fresh bottle. Um, apple cider vinegar, tomato sauce, garlic, mushrooms, onion, and then two pounds of ground beef. So um, I am making some sloppy joes. I think it's like, what is that? Okay. diet called pa paleo or whatever it is i don't know guys um it's not supposed to be on bread though it's supposed to be like served over like mushroom caps or something like that um but i am going to serve it over i have hamburger buns that i'm going to serve it over so that is my plan um for this dinner tonight I did go walking with my friend this morning and we went walking and we had her little cousin with us too at like um, 9 or no not 9 o'clock we went like 8 30 and we got back at about 9 and then I got two vlogs done and um, I have to get the second one uploaded but I stopped so I can put dinner in and then um, I'm going to go and finish up the other two for today so everything's gonna be thrown in the crock pot pretty much except for the ground beef and the onion I'm going to saute first and then put all the other stuff um in with in the crock pot and then cook on high i think it's four to six hours i believe so that is pretty much what i am making for dinner tonight hey guys so this is a sloppy joe's it is all done i don't even know if i told you guys it was sloppy joe's but yeah it's like pa paleo i think it is and like i said it's supposed to be served over mushroom cap or like eggplant or something like that obviously that's not how we're doing it we are doing it with bread just the old-fashioned sloppy joe way but um this is just a recipe i found for um to use up some of the ground beef that i had so that's what's gonna be for dinner tonight hey guys this was dinner for tonight the sloppy joe's which is pretty much devoured because everybody said it was really good um and i'm gonna have to make sure that the crock pot gets washed and everything like that but we ran and i have to put dinner away <laughs> but we ran out to uh dick's sporting goods because we had to get matthew some uh, knee pads and then we also went to target as well because we had to pick a few things up there so um we were just out this afternoon after dinner, which is why I didn't get to show you guys. But then we also had some steamed broccoli as well, which is in here. There's still a little bit left. And I am going to clean this up and the sloppy joe. So, yeah, I'm going to do that now. Guys, I'm going to head to bed because it is about, oh my goodness, 1045. Um, I got the dishes done and I'm going to take a shower. Um, I actually didn't even realize it. I didn't get the fourth vlog uploaded, so I really quick did that. Um, it was edited and saved and everything. I just had to upload it. So I did that and I'm all caught up completely with um, March. I just have April and then the few days so far in May. So I have not got too, too much um, left really to do, I don't think. Um, I mean, it's one month, but I could probably get it done within like two weeks probably um, or maybe a little bit less than that maybe I think a little bit less than that actually it might be because since I normally do four vlogs a day that's like half of a week in one day and since I only have about four weeks that would be oh um, I mean it's even less than that too so that would end up being like roughly about eight or so days I think and um, so about a week to a week and a half like it shouldn't be any more than two weeks but tomorrow and like this weekend well not all this weekend I guess Sunday won't be really weird but tomorrow will be because we do have Matthew's volleyball tournament um which will be gone pretty much for most of the day so 
it's I might not get to any tomorrow I'm not gonna like you know be upset if I can't it'll be awesome if I can but I'm not really like setting that as a goal for myself because I know it's a little bit unrealistic just because we do have stuff going on tomorrow and I have one more crock pot dinner I'm gonna make in the morning real quick um, before we end up leaving but it should be one of those like just leave it on low all day kind of things I think it's uh, the chicken pot pie one so that'll be fine and then we'll get home probably like two or so and um, it should be ready probably I would assume like four o'clock or five o'clock or something like that so that I believe is the plan my dad actually has work tomorrow though so my mom is going to take us because he is working I think Saturday and Sunday but he'll be it's like during the day so it's like normal day schedule but he was off all day today so it's kind of weird but um yeah he will work all day tomorrow like normal hours I think he might be home like a little bit earlier or whatever and he'll be gone uh, tomorrow or on Sunday as well during next week though he'll have a like regular schedule but it'll be the night shift and so he'll work then and then he'll he'll have he will have off for sure next weekend both Saturday and Sunday I believe so um yeah that's kind of what it's looking like so it's gonna be weird though too because I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to get a chance to really go to the grocery stores um but that will all have to be in a later date also too guys I don't know if I showed you guys this over here but these uh the plants are really starting to come in over here these things are like getting so tall nice and tall already and they're super super green too which is like so cool and then these things are looking a little sad because they're like kind of hanging here <laughs> but um yeah I probably should like trim them or something like that anyways guys I will end the vlog for tonight um I just thought I'd update you on my cute little garden window garden <laughs> um but anyways if you guys did enjoy today's vlog make sure you guys give it a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love if you'd subscribe and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow so bye guys so I wanted to wait till it cooled down and now I'm going to put it into a big gallon bag which I think I've told you guys too this is literally the best way on earth to put like super any like liquid stuff in there is to use a pitcher so that it doesn't go all over the place because I've had bad experiences with that <laughs> like even too if it's like not completely if it's like mainly dry ingredients but like you don't want the, it to fall over use a pitcher saves your life <laughs> so I'm gonna put the leftover soup in there